So, so far, how was uh, your transition from Jacksonville to New York being on here? Uh, it's a little chilly. But other than that, I really like it. I enjoy the, um, the, the environment, the, I guess the northern vibe, the football nature that's up here. So for the most part, I think that's the main thing I enjoy, the transition. What are your early, are your early impressions of uh, Zach Wilson? Um, just his, his want to, to get better every day, even on little stuff. Like sometimes, you know, you, you meet with a quarterback and be like, hey, when we mess something up, let me come talk to you. Dude. But you, he comes to you on stuff you wouldn't even imagine would be a problem. Like, hey, um, that, that little short route right there, I meant to throw it to you. I caught it. I'm like, oh, okay, you just want to, okay. So really just his want to be 100% perfect on stuff. So obviously the receiver room has a lot of talent. So how, you know, how much has that helped, you know, breed good competition knowing that, you know? Um, not really competition, but it's more like learning. Um, I can't do what Berrios can do. I can't do what Mims can do. I can't do, but I can learn to do what they do. And so having them all in the room, uh, Corey Davis and all them, having them in the room and trying to learn their techniques and put it all into one person and I hope they're doing the same thing which is going to be a bunch of uh in this case you know how the power rangers get together and stuff like that it's pretty cool uh, but yeah one little zoid you had a, a catch on a, on a contested ball that Zach threw you today how do you guys develop an understanding of when he should throw those what he should be looking for your body language what's that process like? really it's all on the quarterback you're just supposed to get open uh and anything can happen within the time we, we run a route but the DB's meant to mess with our route and mess with our mind during the route. So if I wanted to run 18 yards and stop his, I mean, it, it might not happen like that, that it's going to happen in my mind. So really it's just up to him putting it in a position and trusting that you're going to be able to get it. Um, obviously, um, you know, you started off at a, you started off at a D2 and now you, you might go into your fifth, fifth year in the NFL. Um, how much does that mean to you for you to be able to overcome those odds and be able to have such a you know, lengthy career in the average about three years. Well, you know, I mean, through that, I always, I always tell my, my old teammates that I wouldn't be here if it went for them because, I mean, I couldn't switch and pit D1 players in practice with me. So uh, learning from their mistakes and um, also learning from my own mistakes and watching people above me. As Actually, I play with a few people that I watch highlights over just for fun. Even Marcus Joyner, I didn't even play defense, but that was somebody I watched growing up. So just knowing that those people on my team is really confident in me knowing that I was watching the right people <laughs> and uh, learning their technique and on both sides of the ball so that way I can be better and know the whole game and win. How much have you and Makai talked about just that, just being from, you know, not being from the city of Louisville, but just living in that city coming? Obviously, you went to high school in Louisville, you went to college in Louisville. So how often have you guys ever talked about, you know, just that in Louisville experience? Uh, we talked about it actually not too long ago, or a few days ago, something like that. but. It wasn't really a deep conversation. It was more I asked him how it was to live in there and be in the college environment because I wasn't there. But that was mainly what the question was. It was more of me asking him, hey, how was it when I went to the championship and the basketball team went to the championship? Was was Louisville, you know what I'm saying, nice? and Because, you know, you hear about the stories. You hear about the cities, the towns going wild. I've never been there when, and I lived there. So I was wondering how it was. That was how that conversation went, though. Are you one of those Louisville people that, that say Louisville isn't part of Kentucky? Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. But it's obviously not true. But it makes sense. You can't. You can't. I mean, because if I said I was from Kentucky, people would be like, where? But if I said I was from Louisville, they'd be like, oh, okay. So even the, everybody knows that. How, how often do you go back to Louisville? I really don't go that often. Uh, it's actually, a, you know, kind of crazy going on anywhere. And kind of creepy to go back anywhere that you're from nowadays. So uh, I definitely always go back, spread some love to my family members and stuff like that. But I want to hopefully come back, keep doing and do more camps and stuff like that. And all throughout Kentucky, not really in Louisville. Um, you, you know, the receivers and cornerbacks have been going back and forth, you know, that's been good competition. How much, you know, does, you know, iron chopper iron when it comes to, you know, you and the receiving court getting reps against, you know, the BB? Uh, it's real good. Um, Cause they, I feel like they have young depth, but that's what makes it better because they're scrappy. Uh, going against them is real fun because, like I said, they just scrappy and they just gonna do whatever comes to mind. They not on no vet, you know. Vet, you know, how vets know what they doing, so they working technique and getting to the spot. It's good knowing that if you go up, they going they might, they might hit you in the face with it on accident. They might, they might tackle you. They might clip you. They might grab you. They ain't trying to lose. So shoot, holding is a thing. You get a flag for it. They'll take 15 rather than a touchdown. So knowing that they gonna do that helps me want to win better or be more open and also 
when that happens, you come back, discuss what happened. Hey, good good job on that. Appreciate you holding me on. You know what I'm saying? Reg regardless on both sides, it's just it's just football. How, how good of a scheme fit has um, this offense been for for you? I mean, it kind of fits your skill set. So how much of it? I honestly don't know anything about that. I understand schemes and stuff, but I've been in a different offense since I've been in the leagues each year. So I just play football. So when it comes to that stuff, I let the coaches deal with the scheme and I just run. <laughs>